Hi, I'm Torben Janssen from thoughtsonjava.org with a new Hibernate tip. Today I will answer a common question about the mapping of unidirectional one to many associations. But before we start, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about new Hibernate tip videos. I upload a new one every week. And this is today's question. My table model contains a normal one to many association using a foreign key column on the table that represents the too many side. When I map this association as a unidirectional one to many association with Hibernate, it uses a junction table instead of the foreign key column. How can I fix that? As I explained in great details in my article about best practices for too many association mappings, Hibernate handles unidirectional one to many mappings very inefficiently. You should therefore try to avoid them and use a bidirectional one-to-many, many-to-one mapping instead. If there are any reasons that prevent you from using a bidirectional relationship, you can specify the foreign key column with a join column annotation. But please be aware that this only prevents Hibernate from using the junction or association table. As you will see in the following example, the mapping is still not as efficient as a bidirectional one. Here you can see an example of a purchase order entity that models a unidirectional one to many relationship to the item entity. I added the join column annotation to tell Hibernate that it shall use the fk underscore order column of the item table to map the association. Let's persist a new item entity and add it to the association. As you can see, Hibernate no longer uses a junction table to persist the relationship, but it executes two unnecessary SQL update statements. Hibernate first persists the item entity without setting the foreign key reference to the purchase order entity. It then updates the purchase order before it updates the new item to set the foreign key reference. The only way to avoid these update statements is to use a bidirectional or unidirectional many-to-one mapping. Hibernate then sets the foreign key reference in the insert statement without executing any additional SQL statements. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to learn more about Hibernate, you should join the free Thoughts on Java library. It gives you free access to a lot of member-only content, like an ebook about the Java 8 support in Hibernate, a printable PDF version of this Hibernate tip, lots of cheat sheets and a video course. I'll add the link to it to the video description below. See you next week for a new Hibernate tip and if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. Bye!